Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to reset your Samsung Galaxy J7 Star back to factory settings. The first thing we're going to need to do is remove the Google account. Um, so when we reset the phone, let's say if you sell it to someone or give it away, whatever, um, you won't Google lock the phone for the next person. So we always want to um, do a factory reset first and foremost. So swipe down from the top, upper right corner, click on the settings wheel. And then in here, you want to go to accounts. Cloud and accounts, excuse me. Cloud and accounts, and then accounts. And then we're going to tap on the Google account. So here, or let's go here first, because there's multiple Googles on the account, on the phone, excuse me. So remove account, remove. Next, this one here, remove, remove. Okay, we'll ask you to do your pin or whatever your lock screen code is. And then um, Samsung account, we're gonna remove this as well. Tap here, remove account, and remove. It will ask you to put in the password as well. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so once the password is in there, go ahead and hit remove account. Now you don't have to remove every single account on the phone. Um, the important ones are gonna be anything that's a Google account. Make sure those are removed and any subscriptions you have, I'd also say remove those as well. We're gonna hit the back button now. And one more time. Okay, next we're gonna go to the general management tab. So just go back down here, general management and tap on reset. And from here, we're gonna tap on factory data reset and swipe all the way down to reset. Now I'm gonna go back one step here. This is important. So where it says tips here, it does say you can use smart switch to back up your data to an SD card or to a USB storage device before resetting your phone. So if you have, uh, for example, uh, important pictures or documents or videos, whatever, and you don't want to lose them, and you you don't have the new phone you want to switch to yet, you can, again, purchase a little micro SD memory card. I will leave a link in the description to uh, some links for memory cards. Or you can use uh, a flash drive. They have special flash drives that are micro USB flash drives. They'll plug right into your charging port and allow you to back up all your data to a flash drive. So, um, if you don't want to lose the information on the phone, stop right now and do that first and then go ahead and finish your factory reset because once you reset, that's it. You cannot go back. Let's go ahead and hit reset. If you're ready to move forward, reset, draw your pattern or whatever your security code is, put that in, delete all, and that's it. At this point, it's going to erase everything off the phone and it's going to set it up like brand new. Now at this point, we're not gonna leave the video on because it, it can take anywhere from 30 seconds to five minutes to do the full reset. So um, just let your phone sit and do the, the reset and you'll know it's finished because the last screen you'll see will ask you to select the language. I hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you also leave a comment down below and um, follow us on Instagram at H2Tech Videos for monthly giveaways and a bunch of other cool stuff. Thanks again for watching guys, take care. Also, one last thing, we did start a new YouTube site called Tech Made Easy, and it's got other really cool tech videos that are different from the ones we post on this site. So do me a favor, on the next screen, there is a green button, click on that, subscribe, and support our second site. We really appreciate you guys watching your time. Thanks again, have a good one.